there are quite a few different brands of willow or vine charcoal. Right? Willow and vine charcoal are similar in that they're a softer charcoal than this compressed charcoal. Uh, I recommend getting General's brand Pure Willow with this red top because this seems to be, to me, the most consistent charcoal with fewer knots in, in the process, in the charcoal process. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So it comes with several sticks in there and you can see these are just little willow branches that were fired in an oxygen deprived environment. Uh, with willow, you have less of that scratchiness happening than you do with vine charcoal. Vine charcoal seems to have more scratchiness, more knots in it, and it's, it's not as consistently smooth. So I recommend the Pure Willow Generals brand. The compressed charcoal, this is a 6B compressed charcoal sit, uh, stick. Okay. I recommend this because it's soft and it has like a, 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 a nice velvety consistency. Some other compressed charcoals have a more waxy consistency um, aren't as velvety and are a little bit harder to work with when we're doing portraits. Willow has this nice light velvety appearance and what you're seeing is the texture of the paper, right? So I'm not pressing very hard and what you're seeing is that the charcoal is hitting the tops of the texture of the paper and not the valleys, okay? With compressed charcoal you're going to get a darker, you can see how much darker the contrast between the compressed and the willow. Okay. And again, the tops of the texture of the paper is knocking the charcoal off. And so the charcoal is staining or landing on the tops of the texture and not in the valleys. So you'll see in your kit, you have what's called a soft artist sponge. So this is what a soft artist sponge looks like in the package. It comes in a package of three. And um, some of the packages have sh are shaped a little bit differently. They're very similar to makeup brushes, only they're more dense. Makeup brushes are a little more flimsy and don't quite give you the same effect. So the sponge, when you first get it, obviously it's very uh, light and clean and it's kind of rubbery and it catches a little bit, right? It's just a sponge. So this one is uh, lightly dirty and watch what happens when I rub across the willow, very delicately glide across the willow. See how it lifts it up and kind of spreads it around and watch what happens when I use the sponge with the, char with the compressed charcoal. Okay, so a similar thing happens, right? But the willow, uh, it spreads out a little bit easier. And what you want to do when you're building up a layer of willow is to keep adding layers on top. And the more layers that you add on top and delicately spread out, the more you can get the material into the valleys of the paper. Or I can use another accessory called a chamois cloth. So this is just a very soft piece of leather and the chamois cloth, look what happens when I wipe it along the top. It kind of wipes it away a little bit more. The same pressure, you can see that the compressed charcoal is more of a commitment. So let's look at just one layer of willow with the chamois cloth. Application very light. See how much I can wipe it away? But with the compressed charcoal, very light pressure, it doesn't wipe away as much, right? So you want to save compressed charcoal um, only for the darkest areas of your drawing and later in the drawing process. The other thing that you can use, so I talked about sponges and the chamois cloth, you can also use a, a brush. So when this is the kind of brush that I recommend, this angle brush, angle shader. So you can also you can also spread out your charcoal with this angle shader. You can even create a, a, a separate, uh, on a separate sheet of paper, like a swatch of dark charcoal, and you can dip it in like paint and add 
and build up your layers like this. So this helps you control the smoothness of like the, the skin areas. And as you can see, the more I dip in and, and build up, the, a little bit darker it gets. To get it darker, you're going to have to use more solid charcoal right on top. And then there's another tool that you can use to help spread around your charcoal. Well, there's more than there's actually more than three different sized smudge sticks, but in your kits you have a large, a medium, and a small smudge stick. Right? So when you're doing larger areas, um, it's very important that your smudge stick that the angle of your smudge stick is contiguous. It doesn't have dips in it. So let's see what it does with the charcoal. See how it lifts up? Each one of these tools is going to lift up some of your charcoal. I also like using the fan brush because the fan brush gives me another level of control four methods, one, two, three, four, four methods of spreading out your charcoal, right, are your artist sponge, this particular type of sponge, a chamois cloth, which is soft, piece of leather, um, a, a series of, of different size brushes, right, that have, um, are going to enable you to do different things, and your smudge sticks. You can also use your fingers to spread around but what happens when you use your fingers is you have oils in your hands and the oil is going to mix in with the charcoal and leave smudges. So you want to avoid using your fingers so much and uh, try to learn how to use the accessories so that you can control the amount of smudging that happens in your drawing.